what's the biggest misconception about the case is when the guilty verdict came in, people did not understand that that jury had heard almost three weeks of evidence not related to the murder, but to the financial crimes, which he's always admitted to. But it, uh, we believe it so prejudiced them that when we put the forensic evidence in, which is very, very strong for, for his uh, uh, innocence, acquittal, they didn't hear it. They never saw it. So this idea he's been convicted uh, is a misconception that he was convicted on the evidence relating to the murder. Well, we've filed an appeal on that trial. We've also recently filed a motion for a new trial based on jury tampering by the Corka Court. Uh, that's pending in front of our Court of Appeals. We want them to stay the appeal and let us have a hearing on that issue. Um, we just finished the filing on that yesterday. So we hope to hear something in two to four weeks from the Court of Appeals about that.